What's up YouTube? Thank you guys for clicking on the video today. Um, we went back to my hometown lake and it was kind of a weird day. I mean, we were out there for a couple hours and I mean, we were beating the banks, beating the banks, caught a couple small ones, nothing really, you know, not a lot popping. Well, after we were out there for a couple hours, I told Brooklyn, I was like, look, we had just been to Batesville the day before we caught over 30 fish. I was like, look, let's focus on the big ones. Let's, let's just get lunkers today, right? So I was sitting out in the middle and lo and behold, I had a little, it's like a saucy swimmer, which is a little paddle tail swim bait, about a five to six inch uh, paddle tail, sitting there just kind of dragging it, popping it. And I felt my pole just, I mean, I didn't even really set the hook. I just felt my pole come down. I pulled up and I started reeling and my line was going everywhere. I mean, I thought I was gonna roll my kayak at a couple points. The bad part is I didn't have the camera recording because there wasn't a lot going on, but I did catch my second personal best of the season. I thought it was my personal best when I first pulled it up, but after I weighed it, it weighed three pounds, eight ounces. The other one, that my personal best this season was four, like four, seven, four, eight. So close to five pounds. Um, I haven't had a really good season, but next season we're gonna do kayak tournaments. So you guys be sure to check in on that. We're definitely gonna be filming that. Um, but anyway, uh, be sure to go check out Small Town Sports and Outdoors. Shout out to my buddy Bradley. Thank you guys for everything that you do for me. Um, you guys are awesome. Anyway, we're gonna do this raffle. I keep, I keep forgetting about it. We're gonna do this raffle, okay? You go to our Facebook page, Kayak Angler. You comment three friends, you subscribe to the channel, our YouTube channel. After you do that, you have it'll be two to three days and I'm just gonna end it, okay? So you got two to three days to get this done. Comment three friends, subscribe to the channel. I am gonna do it on live. I'm gonna take all the names. I am gonna do, it's gonna be five to six, a mix between hard hard baits and soft plastics so we'll be doing that it um it'll be the end of next month when i announce that we're gonna do this every month thank you guys for your support i appreciate every one of you i love you guys don't stop fishing keep watching our videos and god bless you we've been out here for about 10 minutes there's a bunch of geese out here, so I couldn't really turn the camera on. Making a bunch of noise. Right now I'm throwing a Rage Toad um, buzz bait. I've already had one blow up on him, but wasn't a very big one. Everybody knows that knows me, my favorite topwater bait is the whopper plopper and i'm gonna be throwing that here in a minute but i don't run a buzz bait very often and i've heard and seen a lot of good things with it so i've learned that this place here is a place you want to throw top waters so figured i'd give this a shot Oh, like I said, go ahead and give this old handy dandy plopper a chance to shine. This is a newer reel, so this is going to happen. Well guys, I'm sorry I wasn't recording, but I just got my personal best. <laughs> Holy shoot! Oh my god! Brooklyn, look at this. 
<laughs> yes, I got my first person. This is my personal best right here. Oh my goodness. You gotta send that to. Where's my brother, Josh? Okay. Where are you going, dude? What are you doing? Hold on, chill. Hold on, buddy. I'm getting you. Well, guys, this is probably the nicest fish I have caught. Well, that one was four and a half pounds, but this is three pounds and eight ounces. So he looks bigger than that, though. But let's get this guy back in the water. So I'm sitting here telling Brooklyn like because she wants to catch some big ones and I told her you know you will but you have to stay positive because when you're not catching them I understand you get you know your motivation goes away but you have to have that motivation to stay concentrated and focused because when you're not really you know when you're not really focused on what you're doing then you're not putting off a good um What's that called? Not imitation, but like a, like a, you're, you're just not, you're not doing your best, you know? And you have to be focused in order to, um, you know, be able to fish the correct way. If you're just all burnt out and upset because you're not catching nothing, then you're just getting irritated and you're not really paying attention on what's going around going on around you so you have to stay motivated you have to stay positive and pay attention to what's going on around you don't get burnt out because you're not catching anything you know i mean there's going to be days when like yesterday we went and caught 30 over 30 fish yesterday you know i told her today i'm not worried about numbers i want to catch the big boys and that's what we're doing so you know, if you want to catch bigger fish, everybody wants to catch the big ones. Everybody, you know, that's part of fishing. You want to catch the biggest, whatever you're fishing for. You want to catch the biggest, meanest, toughest bass or whatever you're fishing for out there. And, you know, that's that's what everybody wants. But you just have to stay focused. You got to walk. You got to have a pattern. OK, so. If I catch one out in the middle or wherever I'm at in the lake, I, I want to see where was he at? What was he, you know, what I catch him on and pay attention to that, you know? But anyway, guys, Brooklyn caught one when we first got, I had one blow up on the buzz bait. But, um, unfortunately, he missed it. Brooklyn caught one, got him up to the kayak. He got off of it. But, and then I just caught that one. My camera is way down, way too far. I'm sorry about that. Went back to my whopper plopper. Because they keep coming up to the top like crazy. But like I said, we're focusing on bigger fish today. I know we could go around this edge, this bank, and probably catch a bunch of little bitty smallmouth, but I want the big ones today. I want Brooklyn to get her. She's caught probably one that probably was about two pounds, but I want her to get something bigger than that today. So. Typically what happens I think in this lake is all the small ones because there's not really a lot of cover in this lake So I think all the little ones come in and they push out the big ones I know usually it's the other way around the big ones will push out the little ones from the cover but I think it's the other way around here and The big ones are going out right not all the way in the middle but kind of in the middle. 